Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Bay 3 and the Monkey Lord Mark 3, of course. We are playing Robocraft. As you can see, the Monkey Lord has gone through a few changes. Most obvious of which is the massive upgrade to its armor, at least central armor. We even have some tech level 8 armor cubes. It is fantastic. We're actually into the blood red coloring. Oh, the things I'm going to be able to do with this. Unfortunately, they cost quite a lot. They cost 3,000 by themselves. 3,690 to be exact. It is quite difficult to get a lot of these things. In fact, just before I started recording, I placed most of these. I bought 10 cubes, 10 uh, prisms, and spent very nearly 80,000 RP on that. I was, I was a little bit shocked. The rest of the money I spent on two new shields, and that is why I've brought you back. The Monkey Lord Mark III does well in Tier 7. But I don't want it to be in tier 7 anymore, I want it to be in tier 8. At least, possibly even tier 9. Maybe tier 10 eventually, but not, well, it'll probably need a significant overhaul. But uh, just to cover a few other things I've got, I've got a T7 radar jammer there. I also have a T5 uh, radar and a T5 radar receiver, so a f full EWAR suite. We even have an additional kind of auxiliary T5 radar jammer down below there. Now, I think... I think the first thing I want to do on camera is play around with these new shields I've unlocked. The T7 electroplates. They have an armor ranking of 676, but a shield ranking of 14,753. Uh, 58, I believe it was. And that is 4,000 more than the uh, tier 6 electroplates. Now... This is something I have seen many other walkers do. They're actually incredibly small, crab-like things, which I guess is quite fitting for the for the fact that they are crawlers. And one, because uh, most people don't call them walkers, they call them crawlers, and I kind of like that, honestly, because they do kind of crawl. Now, whilst the Monkey Lord isn't the right shape for that kind of design, I do feel that maybe we can... Oh, okay, I was on the right side. Maybe we can get something going with that. Okay. Right, so we could have the left and right here. I'd have to build that out. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess this offers some protection to the legs, but uh, it pretty much just lets any shot just hit the cockpit, and that's not really what we need. I guess I... Oh, wait a second. That actually worked. Okay, let's see how this works. Uh, I would cover up the Union Jack. We can't allow that. But that... Well, it doesn't cover the legs, but it does certainly offer a reasonable amount of cover for the cockpit. How far back can I push this? Can I push it all the way back? Can I really? Oh my goodness! Wow! I can actually completely cover the cockpit. I mean, granted, everyone and their dog is going to know where to, they need to try and break into in order to kill me, but still... That's kind of awesome, though I can't have the radar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Could I possibly? Ha ha! Oh, that's pretty. That works out pretty well. So instead of the radar, we have uh, the Union Jack there. I quite like that. And uh, this is, of course, fairly high level armor. Someone in the comments recently has uh, asked me about something. I I'm terribly sorry. I, I forget uh, your name. I you will have to forgive me. Well, you won't have to, but I hope you do. But uh, ask me if I would have like some sort of signature build, if you if you like. Something that uh, I put on most of my bots and is generally something I do so that if someone saw it, that it would be... Uh, it, would, it would give them an idea that it was my bot or a bot based off one of mine. And I was thinking, well, I do the beak thing quite often, but that isn't that isn't unique enough. But now I have access to red cubes. I'm really liking the idea of trying to sculpt some sort of low poly, understand? We're not going to be spending like 20 or, or 40 blocks to try and sculpt this thing and have it a huge just waste of, of, of blocks at the front of the craft. But uh, maybe some sort of low poly dragon's head. I think that would be rather awesome. Now I've got red blocks, I can I can start thinking about that. Though, 
it would probably still be big even if I did try to keep it fairly low poly. I'm not sure. It's something I'm going to be thinking about. But I can't tell whether I prefer that, these shields that far back or a little bit further forward. Let me have a look. You know what? I actually think that is better. I think this works out a little bit better for us. But with that in mind, how much armor can I place down here? If any. Well, I can definitely place cubes there. Okay. How about... Oh, well, really? I can? Hmm. I genuinely wasn't expecting that to work. Okay. That is a bit glitchy. Um, I guess the uh, whole placement fix hasn't quite fixed everything. No, that is a little bit... Uh, I don't know. I guess it's not hurting anything, but at the same time... It... it uh, no. No, I can't in good conscience do that. I refuse to cheat. It's not that I don't know how, it's that I refuse to do it. Right, okay, let's uh, get this in as well. There we go, that's actually added considerable amounts of armour to the cockpit section. I'm pretty happy with that. And of course I've got the uh, T8 armour underneath the cockpit as well. However, this has opened this little area up a little bit. Uh, do we have any more? We do have a few more. I guess I could do that just on the side. I'm not sure why I'm doing that, just I think to uh, do something with the space more than anything. Though perhaps... No, actually, I'll take that away. Let's not fuss around with the armor too much. We need to find a new place for my radar, because my radar clearly can't go there. And that's where the Union Jack... I mean, I could put it there now that I've pushed these shields forward, but I don't know, having the Union Jack there just looks too awesome to pass up. Um... T9 radar. Uh, I guess I could. I mean, I want this to be in tier 8. I want it possibly even in tier 9. So, would this be able to fit there? No. Oh, oh, I don't know. That's, that's being cheeky. It also kind of looks weird. But, I guess. I guess we could. The other thought was to do this. It's a bit of, more of a lower profile then. I don't know. Uh, form before function or function before form? That's the question here. And my instincts are telling me to go for form over function, but... Uh, maybe. Uh, damn it. Damn it, stupid instincts. Uh, the monkey lord's going to get hurt because of that. Well, maybe not, because that is actually a pretty high tier radar, all things So Let's actually check out the difference. Tier 5 has a range of 263, and Tier 9 has a range of two, oh, 274, really? That's all the difference? These things are crazy expensive. Ah, it's the armor. Armor 8,058 versus 2,200. Okay, well, it's almost four times as robust. So that that does kind of make up for the, the huge price. Okay, well, the next thing... Could we afford for tier 9? Since we're in tier 8 now, that means uh, I feel comfortable bringing tier 9 guns to the fight, since uh, they're unlocked in tier 8, I believe. And even if they're not, they're only one tier above. But let me double check that. Uh, where would you be? You would be over here. The tier... Oh no, the tier 8 is unlocked with tier 8 tech points. Okay, well, it's, it's useful to know, but again... I don't feel too bad about taking one tier higher weapons into a battle. Especially if I'm going to have less of them than the max. And it looks like I probably am. Hmm. Well, that one's a tier 8 at least. Right, let's have a look at the walker legs. I'm, I'm really not certain about building out that side thing again. I, I got rid of that initially because I didn't like having the weapons out to the side because they would often get shot off. But perhaps I'm going to need them out to the side now because the shield is taking up the space where the gun would have gone normally. Well, let's have a quick look at this. Have I put those two side legs on the right point? Yes, I have. Okay, good. Could I actually build this here? No, no way in hell. All right, then. How many blocks have I got? I've got nine blocks. Hmm. Let's have a think. I've got nine of these as well. Let's try and build out a little area. 
and we'll see. Right, can I place the T9 there? What, really? Bloody hell, those legs are huge. Okay, what if I build it out one more cube? Can I place it then? Oh, I can. Haha. -ha. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that's a little bit larger than I would like, honestly. And how many cubes did that use? Uh, no, we're, we're going to be okay. All right. Well, we'll do it like that again. I kind of dislike it, if I'm honest. I preferred not having them on the side, and I kind of feel that they worked a little bit better that way as well. But you know what? This, this may work out okay. They are much further out now than they were before, so they'll probably have a little bit more clearance to get around the legs. Okay, now, the other thing that has been asked, and this has been asked by a lot of people, is to give the Monkey Lord wings. Now, I'm not going to be giving the Monkey Lord wings, at least not right now. That would require a significant redesign, though perhaps with this there, I could even have wings there, maybe. Hmm. Have I got any redders? I do have some redders. I wonder. No. Maybe if I built this out a bit? I might be able to build some wings on there. Would they be able to go? No, they won't be able to go there with the gun. Okay, well that's fine then. But uh, I, I wasn't expecting to be able to fit guns on, uh, sorry, uh, wings on just yet. However, I do want to increase its mobility, and we're going to do this with thrusters. Unfortunately, I don't have the high tier thrusters because they're currently on the Firestorm. But let's have a look. Where can I put these thrusters? Okay, I can put some on the legs down here. That's a pretty good place for them. Now, this should help us with jumping. We're going to turn the Monkey Lord into a jumping spider bot. More fuel for the nightmare fires. Hmm. I'm not 100% on placing this underneath though, because I I don't want things that can catch on lips and changing geometry as it's climbing around, but I suppose it doesn't make too much difference if I put it really far forward, as in really close to the guns, because they would get caught on them anyway. So, how about around here? I, well, I could try it around there. That right, gives us a fair bit of uh, leaping potential. However, if we're going to be jumping forward, I think what we're going to need are thrusters to try and pin us to the ground a bit. But also, thrusters to give us a little bit of added height initially. Because we, we're going to want to get up into the air and then glide for a little ways. But we're probably going to... Well... Yeah, I think we're, we're probably going to need some way of bringing us back down to the earth again. And I fancy we'll do that. And let's place some over here as well. Okay, so we'll we'll use the thrusters at the front to push us just the, the front legs back down onto the ground. But that we'll have thrusters in the same positions on either side. Uh, sorry, front and back to get us into the air. And that should help out a little bit. Oh, we've got some more space there. I had an extra tier 5 thruster. Oh, I could. Hmm. How much are tier 5 thrusters? Show me your secrets. Tier 5 thrusters are just slightly more than I have. Oh, that's so frustrating. Um, I was thinking I could sell my aerofoils. I will not sell the walker legs. I won't sell the nano disruptors because that's... Aside from selling a gift, that's also kind of just generating RP from nothing, which I really dislike. But uh, let's actually just take this out and practice. Let's see how the changes we've made, because I'm sure the weight differences are going to screw things up. So let's, uh, let's just take this out for a quick spin, shall we? Let's see how this does. The main thing I want to see is whether it can leap properly. Also, I'm going to take a sip of tea. Okay. Okay, those thrusters aren't actually too close to the ground. And does it move much faster with the tier 8 legs? Not really. Let's see about jumping. Ooh, okay, we are jumping really far. That is kind of awesome. How about here? And again. And back down. All right. Of course, let's before we jump off a tall cliff, let's jump off a slightly less tall cliff. 
And to the moon! Okay, we're going good. We're starting to tip up. Thrusters downwards. Okay. Maybe I need those thrusters a little bit further forwards. Hmm. I wasn't too happy with that. We weren't adjusting our position too fast. The one, uh, well, they're practically in the middle, so that's not really that surprising. They're, they're not actually adding pitch. They're just more or less pushing the whole bot down, but allowing it to tip however it was uh, initially. But let's jump from a very tall place and see how far we can cover. We've got a lot of forward thrust on this bot now, so we might actually get a quite a distance. It'll also see if we can uh, adjust ourselves in the sky, though. Based on what we've already seen, I doubt we're going to be able to. Let's line up. And... Uh, this is going to hurt. Possibly. Maybe not. Oh, look at that awesome air time. No, no, no. We're tipping up. We're tipping up. That's bad times. Okay. I do need those thrusters in the front. But that is awesome. That is really awesome. With some higher tier thrusters, I could probably cover an incredible distance. All right. Let's adjust those thrusters at the front. Maybe let's swap those with the middle ones. Because ultimately, I want to, to rise in a uniform way in the middle uh, when I when I jump. I just want to be able to pull the nose down specifically later on, so that actually makes a lot of sense. Let's quickly make that adjustment and then see how that has uh, affected the bot. Should be a fairly quick test, this one. We'll just climb up onto a tall thing and then leap and see if we can control our ascent, uh, sorry, our descent a little bit better than previously. All right, let's get up there. Also, when I get back to the uh, mothership, I want to check the speed, the max speed of these legs. I'm not sure if uh, the higher tier legs just have more carrying capacity or that they can actually move faster. Okay, and to the moon! Maybe. Oh no, we're going... We, we, the wrong part of us was going down. Ah, oh, that was crap. Uh, we did worse. Um... You saw nothing! Nothing was seen, nor you! That's right. No witnesses. Okay. We'll put those thrusters back where they were before, I think. At least that worked. Although it didn't work ideally, it did work. Okay. And there. I guess what would really be good is actually if we had... Another position for the downward thrusters. Um, could I? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Let's see if this will help. It may help. We might be lucky. I mean, that's certainly much further forward now. In fact, I could have some more there as well. But I don't know. That, that's ruining the beak dragon nose thing. Let's uh, give this another quick test. Again, the only thing I'm interested in here is controlling my descent. Right then. There we go. And back over here. I actually jump. I move much faster when I'm in uh, when I'm leaping. I'll have to bear that in mind. Walking for fine control and obviously for climbing walls, but leaping for just general movement. Roger. And once again, this time not to the moon though. Let's go to Mun instead. There we go. That is actually much more controlled. I didn't have my hand on um, forward thrust the whole time, though. But still. Okay. I think the Monkey Lord is suitably equipped as nightmare fuel now. Let's push our nose back down. Yes. Okay. There was definite control there. Let's go up here and just do a little jump again and then uh, see how we do. Also, that was a reasonable test of whether the thrusters have interfered too much with my ability to uh, climb up changing cliffs and nose down nose down oh we weren't really controlling in that well but i definitely felt it moving i think if we hadn't been trying to uh, descend with the thrusters we would have just flipped in the air then so okay i'm i'm satisfied with what we've done i think it's now time to test the Monkey Lord Mark IV. 
That is right. This is now a new mark. We are now in tier 8. We are almost in tier 9. Ooh. Could I drive this into... Mm, I don't think it would be wise. But let's just see. Could I push this into tier 9 just by adding these? I probably could. I absolutely could. I'm not going to, though. No. Let's uh, put this back down there. There we go. Alright. Let's uh, take this out for a little bit of a spin into rank 8. But before we do, I didn't forget. Don't worry. Let's have a look at these. Does this have a max speed? No, it's purely carrying capacity for the legs. And there's not actually not that much difference between the different uh, levels either. That's interesting. But you are now the Monkey Lord Mark IV. Welcome. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go and find us a fight, and I shall bring you back when we have one. So, see you soon. Okay, we managed to get ourselves a fight straight away. I'm very happy about that. Hona with Bomber, and Hombam Maniac, Striker X, and Leocraft, 74, T8 Rebel, and Archblood, I think. Or is that Archbrute? Archblood with Walker, and Alexamapug. Let's do this! And finally, Long John, MS-DOS 6.0. <laughs> Fair enough. I just read out the names. Oh, I forgot to turn on chat. Oh, balls. Why do I always forget to turn on chat? I just don't know. One day, one day I'll learn. Maybe. I'm not sure that you should hold your breath. All right, let's uh, just get up here because I know it's quite a lot of other walkers heading this way. Um, though, really, is there that much point in a walker being up here? Mind you... That said, these guys might need some medicking, and the other medic all the way down there will be nowhere near close enough to help. So, uh, oh, what, a, what an awesome little walker. It's kind of like a baby walker. He can't jump quite as far as me. And actually, you've got an interesting configuration of legs. Ooh, you've got five legs. I like that. I think that's rather awesome. I approve. Now, where are the enemy? There's one over there. Let's get you spotted. Any other enemies? Well done. You did quite a lot of damage there. All right. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Let me... Uh, I'm just going to go this way. Oh, I thought I was going to tip up there. Now, as before, I move faster if I'm in the air. So, let's stay in the air. I'm not a flyer. I am a jumper. Can't wear me though, I'm the sort of jumper that jumps down out of trees, not the one that you pull over your head when you're cold. Okay, let's see. We have a few enemies over yonder. Got one just for there. Or is that one of us? That's one of us. I'm on my way, my wounded brother. He's a medic tank, he's going down. We've also got a... Uh, Flyer there, that's going to be a bit of a pain for my allies, but uh, I'm already committed to going and helping. Jump! Leap! Through the sky we fly! No, we're going to spin out of control! Oh, damn! No! Land! No! Oh, come on! Ha-ha! Perfect landing. No one saw anything. Where are my allies who need my aid? Oh, it's one of my medic allies. It's even more important that I help you. There's like a union and everything. I come! Fear not! Salvation has arrived! Oh, look at him. He's half health and he's still doing his best to heal everyone else. Sorry, all of you. Union rules. Medic gets treatment first. There's actually logic to that as well because, uh, obviously, if the medic is healed, he'll be able to heal more. There we go. Medic fully healed! All medic guns are now active. Come here. Let me heal you. And we've got someone else down here as well. My me medic ally will be able to deal with the others. Leap! I must catch up. There we go. You're almost full health now. Wow, these tier 9 medic guns don't waste any time, do they? There is no playing around with them. Uh oh, there we go. Well done in killing that cur. Let me fix your bot. Oh, don't run me over. Oh, wait. I'm a robot. I'm not an actual spider. Go on. You can run me over if you want. They won't do any damage. Right, let's uh, head this way. We've got someone trying to take our base. Never mind, they are dead. Fantastic, I say. Absolutely fantastic. 
reasonable amount of RP as well, considering I didn't really do much. Okay, let's, uh... I'm gonna go and find us another battle. I shall see you in a moment. Hopefully, I will also have remembered to turn back on chat. Ooh, we've got a lot of people in this one, a lot of premiums. We've got uh, Audrac with the Dragoon. We've got Lilamiki with something I can't read. We've got Arexidon with Tank. Forest with Pew Pew. We also have Cartoon Head with Robo 1. Okay. And on the enemy team, we have Calamity BCE with Robo 3. Very well. You should always say thank you. They are giving you something at the end of the day. I know many of them may not actually be doing it intentionally, but still, I feel obliged to say thanks. Also, I feel obliged to say hello whenever someone says hello to me. If I notice it, and I'm not flying. Well, sometimes I feel obliged to do it even when I'm flying, and it usually results in me dying. Alas. One cannot fly when one is typing. I wish one could, but it is not the way of Robocraft. Let me see if I can just jump over your head. Yes, I can. Fantastic. That makes things much easier. Your bot looks... Your bot looks amazing. My god. Your bot is fantastic. Marry me. Don't, don't leave. I have abandonment issues. Damn it. <sighs> they don't care. Ah, uh, see if I heal you, you scallywag. Oh, crap. Where did that come from? I was already being spotted. Sometimes it isn't spotted. I simply see it because my uh, radar receiver is picking them up off someone else's radar. So it's always best to actually try to spot. Just in case. That one definitely hasn't been spotted, however. Oh, I missed it. Really? Let me wait for the cool countdown to go down. That little queue over there. No, I missed again. Wow, that's rather terrible. I thought I was bang on there. Apparently not. And... Oh no! You are dead! How? How did this happen? I can't even remotely get near you! Come back down here, you git! That's right. Down. There we go. I was laying in wait like a proper hunting spider. Hmm, we are going to lose. Unless some of my teammates go back. Just in case they do manage to get back and uh, block them from taking the base, I will start taking theirs. But still, I dislike being base capturing. I know it's how you win the game, it's just... Uh, I want to be out there fighting. Ooh, plasma tank over there. Right, well actually someone else is here, All right? Good luck. Good man, stepping up there to the... Uh, to the plate. Well done. I will try not to have too much fun in your absence. That is a flagrant lie. I'm going to have as much fun as I possibly can. I'm probably going to have criminal amounts of fun, in fact. Right. Healing bros. Together at last. We have some bad times coming our way, however. Um, hmm. Don't really want to do this. Hello there. No. Nope. No, 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 don't want to die. Haha! -ha! Got you. Keep on the move. Oh, my healing bro's dead. Probably because I gave up. Okay, I need to flee! I'm still having fun, though. Oh, my goodness, that's going to hurt. Ouch, it did hurt. It didn't really, but in my head it hurt. Haha! -ha! I'm safe. We win! That was actually <laughs> remarkably good. I think maybe me and my healer bro managed to distract the uh, assault forces who were coming along to try and stop us from capturing the base just long enough. Alas, my healer bro died. I did not. I feel a little bit sad. I will go and light a pyre in his honor. But uh, that is it for this episode. I think resounding success. The Monkey Lord Mark IV. Yes, absolutely. The ability to leap is a huge bonus. It's how we survived in that fight, actually. Though there wasn't much of us left. Certainly the higher tier nano disruptors are really useful, but that shield is probably giving us an enormous amount of survivability over the original design. 
I lost a lot because of just one random shot down on top of the cockpit would just knock out enough blocks to just disconnect something and then it would be all game over for me. But this is giving us significant amounts of survivability, for, at least from top attacks. So I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I'm really happy with that. We'll have to see if I can fit any more shields on this, but I think that would be pushing it a little bit too far. So maybe in the future evolution of the Monkey Lord Mark IV to the Monkey Lord Mark V, or maybe to a different type of bot altogether, we might actually try to redesign it in such a way as to allow more shields, because I think we're probably pushing pushing the envelope as far as we can go with shields with this particular design. There's just not enough places to attach them. Perhaps I could get something over here. Maybe. Something to look for in the future. But that is it from me for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will be joining us for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.